welcome back to the Language of Leadership. I'm your host, Chuck Martin, and we're on our day 17 of our Strangest Secret 30-Day Challenge. Today's topic is one of the most transformational aspects of success, embrace failure. Earl Nightingale once said, success is not the result of making no mistakes. It's the result of making mistakes, but learning from them. Today, we'll explore why, why shifting our perspective on failure is crucial on our path to success. Now, to guide us on this journey, I want to share the stories of two exceptional individuals who understood the art of embracing failure, Tillman Fertitta and Napoleon Hill. So first, let's talk about Tillman Fertitta. He's a billionaire businessman known for his vast empire in the restaurant, hospitality, and entertainment industries. His success wasn't built on a series of uninterrupted victories. It was shaped by setbacks and failures. You see, Tillman Fertitta's story reminds us that failure is not the end. It's a stepping stone. He once said, winners never quit and quitters never win. But if you never win and you never quit, you're just an idiot. Fertitta's willingness to learn from his failures propelled him to immense success. Now, let's turn to the master himself, Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill's work has inspired countless individuals on their journey to success. Yet, what many may not realize is that Napoleon Hill faced multiple failures and obstacles throughout his life. You see, Napoleon Hill's remarkable journey teaches us that embracing failure is about seeing it as a valuable lesson. He once wrote, every adversity, every failure, and every heartache carries with it the seed of an equal or greater benefit. Napoleon Hill's ability to extract wisdom from setbacks transformed his life and the lives of those he inspired. So how can we apply the wisdom of Tillman Fertitta and Napoleon Hill in our 30-day challenge? First, you need to shift your perspective. Instead of fearing failure, embrace it as a chance to learn and grow. It's not a setback. It's a setup for a comeback. Two, you need to learn and adapt. Take the lessons from failure and apply them to your journey. Use them as stepping stones towards your goals. Remember that failure is not your enemy. It's a teacher. It's a crucial part of your success story. Embrace it. Learn from it. And let it propel you forward. Now, before we wrap up today's episode on embracing failure, I want to remind you of a powerful tool you've been using throughout this challenge. And that tool, it's your index card. On the front of this card, you've written your goal, and it's clear and it's specific. But here's where it connects to today's theme. On the back, you've got the scripture from Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 8. This scripture reminds us that seeking and asking and knocking are acts of persistence and learning. And that's why this index card is so critical. It's your daily reminder of your commitment to this journey to embracing failure as a stepping stone to success. You see, as you go through your day, take a moment to review what's on that index card. Read it in the morning to set your intentions. Revisit it during the day to stay focused and reflect on it before you go to bed to measure your progress. Your index card isn't just a piece of paper. It's your compass. It's guiding you through every challenge and triumph. So don't underestimate its power. Use it. Embrace it. And let it remind you why you're on this 30-day challenge. Tomorrow, we're going to explore the importance of surrounding yourself with positive people. So as we explore the power of continuous learning, you're going to be able to continue your growth and success. Now, keep embracing failure, keep growing, and keep moving forward. Take care.